In just moments, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have competitors locked inside. Steel, don't go away. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against Jimmy Uso. When the steel cage is here, you know you're in for a treat, and this one should be no different. The Indian Vader is here! It's Buzz! Making his way to the ring from Stillwater. Weighing in at 280 pounds, the WWE Champion, The Terror. I spoke to Buzz today and he told me no matter how much success he has, he still gets nervous to compete in front of this many people. Coming from BCW, he should be used to big crowds. I heard that one event almost drew more fans than a JV girls volleyball playoff match. Welcome to the USO Penitentiary! From San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso! Jimmy and Jay Uso have single-handedly transformed the tag team division. You know, and if you ask them what made the difference, what made you guys step up their game, Jimmy and Jay will tell you it was the moment we decided to stop being what other people expected us to be and to start being who we are. The son of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi and husband of Naomi, WWE has been in forever and will be a fixture in Jimmy Uso's life. We're talking about Jimmy Uso, all he needs is to connect with one super kick and that can change everything. He may be down since day one-ish, but that kick will put you down in a second. The devastation that comes from the Samoan splash is definitely a family affair when you're talking about Jimmy Uso. We can feel the impact from here when Jimmy lands on his opponent. Beautiful technique. Oh, nasty impact. When you're the son of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, it's safe to say you know how to fly. Jimmy Uso's version of the Samoan Splash is as devastating as they come. Seeing Jimmy Uso climb to that top rope means he's looking to put his opponent away. The Samoan Splash is going to bring Jimmy more victories as time goes on. Set him up for the... Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Jimmy Uso beginning to look a little weak out there. This very well may be too much for him to handle. This cage really has gotten the best of him tonight so far. So much so that it makes me question if he even has what it takes to win this thing. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently Jeez. for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him.
Here he goes. Oh, catch. Man, incredible. Now Jimmy Uso needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Power bomb. Whoa, Jimmy Uso dodged that one. Ooh, what impact. Oh, Buzz just barely got... You gotta believe this one's over. That's what he was looking for, Michael. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high rent district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983, Jimmy Superfly Snuka. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. The steel cage match is in the books. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here is your winner, the Terror. It may not appear that way, but that beaten and battered competitor standing tall inside that cage right now is your winner. <laughs> it's gonna be lights out earlier than usual tonight in the Uso Penitentiary. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.